What's going on guys? Today has been a hell of a day. We had some corporate training and we had a few yard birds. I want to tell you about one of my students and I reached out to her now. She don't want to come on YouTube and she don't want to talk to y'all. I had one of my students from three years ago and she wanted to build a business and she reached out to me. A woman is married, has three children. Married, has three children. And she, she had an idea for a cleaning business. And I said, okay, this is what you do. You keep your job because like her first concept was she was gonna start cleaning houses. And I said, that's a trap. That is a trap. What you do is you keep your job and I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna be working a lot, you're gonna be tired, your husband's gonna be cranky, your husband's gonna wanna have sex, you're gonna be tired, and it's gonna be rough for about 15 months to 24 months. Just know what you're getting yourself into. You're gonna hire people, you're gonna feel that they're gonna be good people, and they're gonna disappoint you, they're not gonna show up for work, you're gonna go through this. So, uh, she was paying me 1,500 bucks a month, and uh, she had a, decent job. She wasn't making killer money. She was making $50,000 a year. And she was paying me $1,500 a month because she had saved up some money. So she had a little stash. So the first thing that we did was we named her business, we set up her corporate entity, and we started running ads. And you know how this woman who's married, has three children, you know how she interviewed people on her lunch hour? And she took vacation days to interview people. And then she hired people and then she started advertising and she got jobs and she sent these people. And in the beginning, she said she was a nervous wreck because she had to depend on people to do something and she wasn't there. And the first six months, she, she broke out in hives. She had all kinds of issues. Her and the husband were fighting a lot. It was hard. Then it started to work started to work and then one day she called me and she said today i have four employees and they clean seven houses and i made you know i think she said she made like five hundred dollars because it was uh you know, i think she made five hundred dollars that day because it was some big houses and she says i am beginning to see how this is going to work now once again she still had her job she still had her three children. She still had her husband. And then I said, this is the thing you do. You keep your job, right? And as the business grows, you take that money that's coming in and you hire more people. And she listened to me. You know, she didn't fight with me. She didn't act like, you know, she was on my level. She didn't debate with me in the, com in the comment section. She just actually did what I told her to do. And then she had her job. And then after a year, she had 12 employees and she had a lot of reoccurring house, which is reoccurring house, which is uh, automatic revenue. It's like, oh, all right, I'm gonna clean this house on Tuesday, boom, boom, boom. She started getting these counts. She started finding out who her better cleaners were. She started sending her best cleaners to her best customers, told her to do that. Then 18 month mark, she had 15 employees. She had to rent an office because the employees, they were just kind of like meeting up at Starbucks. I said, like, you gotta rent you an office and in the office, you're gonna, keep, you're gonna keep cleaning supplies. You're gonna buy the things you need, their little kits and everything, worked all that out. And at 18 months, she was in a position to quit her job because she had 15 employees and I believe they were doing 15, $15,000, $20,000 a month. And after expenses, I think she was doing like eight. I think she was doing like 8,000. And I, I, I recently talked to her, I called her up. She has 25 employees now and a lot more accounts. <clears throat> and her husband, and th this is something else. This is a critical moment. One night she and her husband got into a screaming match because her husband was like, I did not marry an entrepreneur. I want my wife back because he was used to, you know, them doing whatever, you know, they had a screaming match. And she says, I'm gonna do this because I wanna be somebody. And you know, her husband 
who was not with the program, guess what he did? He quit his job and joined her business. Cause I think they're doing like $40,000 a month, which after paying expenses is way more money than they were making it work, working their jobs. And now they provide healthcare for the insurance for their employees and they got their own healthcare program. Like I said, 25 employees, I think. And her next move is she does residential cleaning. And I said, her, your next move should be to get into commercial cleaning. And essentially you have a day shift, which is your residential cleaning. And then you have a night shift, which is your commercial cleaning. And then you can alternate and offer people bonuses for cleaning the weekends and stuff. All this other kind of stuff. <clears throat> so a, a married woman with three children started a cleaning business when she had a job. And I got some sucker up in the comments. You ain't married. You ain't got no kids. I ain't married, I don't have no kids. Yeah, you're right. And I do real estate. You know why you do real estate? Cause you're lazy with your punk ass. You just lazy. You don't wanna do any real work because here's the thing guys, mindset. Mindset is everything. And there's a lot of people out there with a jacked up mindset who think they're smarter. Cause essentially, and I've done several videos about this, Working hard sometimes is working smart. This woman went through hell. Her marriage almost broke up over this business. And I was like, you know, she was calling me. She was crying. She's like, I said, look, I'm going to tell you right now it's crappy. There's going to come a day that your husband is going to look at you with new eyes and he's going to recognize that he married a winner and, uh, when he quit his job, because essentially, you know, the system that I'm going to teach in the corporate, you know, she was at home all day. She had time to be a mother to her children. She wasn't in the office. She hired an office manager. She went into the office every now and then, you know, she had them on payroll, so she didn't have to sign checks. It was, you know, essentially she was home, you know, uh, doing making cookies and stuff with her kids. And her husband noticed this big change in her because she had a lot of money and she had a lot of free time. But it didn't come on the front end. The front end, she front loaded it. And then one day he, he came home and, you know, they were making love and they were all lovey dovey and stuff. And they were in bed and he says, Babe, I wanna quit my job. I wanna work with you. This was the guy who was like, I did not marry an entrepreneur. This was him. He's like, I want to work with you because he saw how happy she was and he still had his job and she was making all kind of money. She was doing things. And I, I was like, look, I know it's going to be hard because, but I don't care how stupid it gets. Never disrespect your husband. Never scream at him. I don't care how bad he acts because there's going to come a day he's going to come to you and he's going to have to humble himself because he's going to realize he married a, he married a winner. And that night he's like, you know, um, this, this, this thing really worked out. And he hated me. He hated me because she was always talking to me. And he was like, is that your boyfriend? I hear him in the background because you know, he, he married a really good woman. And this is one of the things. And like, whenever I throw out something, People get all up in their feelings like, I wish you would stop using a security firm. And I'm about to say something. You don't know how to run your security firm if you are upset that someone on YouTube has mentioned using a security firm. If that got you all up in your feelings, I'm gonna tell you who you are. You have a small business, you're not making a lot of money, and you're stressed. Because if I say something that gets you all tripped, triggered, triggered, and essentially, Mr. Real Estate, no, I don't, I'm not married. No, I don't have no kids. You know why I was married and I had kids? I worked not one, not two, but three jobs. You lazy. You lazy. That's who you are. You are lazy. Because like I said, for these last three months, um, a lot of y'all, and I need to say thank you, a lot of you guys have been very supportive during this car rental business. You've been very supportive. I've had people email me. I had people who were pissed off that these animals messed up my cars. 
I got love for you guys. I appreciate you guys. And there were some of you who were like, ha ha, giggle, giggle. Mr. Egotistical is suffering. He's going through it. Guess what? Today, for, 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 the, for the haters, today I have someone that's going to rent. They already rented it and they're about to extend for a week and that's going to put 600 bucks in my pocket. Today might be my first $3,000 day in the car rental business after three months, after three months. Yeah, I'm doing this. While you laugh, I'd be cashing checks. I'd be going to the bank. While you laughing, because here's the reason you're laughing. You want to see me fail because you, you, you are a failure. Misery likes company. You want me to be down there with you in the dumps. You want me to be down there with you because you got a pissed off or a corrupted mindset. A corrupted mindset. Your mindset is so important. And this woman with, who, who's married with not one, not two, but three kids started a million dollar cleaning business while she had a job. You, you know why she did it? Because she thought she could do it. There are you out there who don't even have no kids, don't have no husband. And you out here struggling because you got the wrong damn mindset. You're out here like, this is why you wanna gravitate to real estate. This is why everyone gets into real estate because it's supposed to be passive income. Here's the thing with real estate. And I, I know someone who owns 30 houses and you know how he owns those 30 houses? He had a very high paying job and he said, Whenever I get my bonus, I would just buy a house. All his houses are paid for. He has no mortgage. He said every time, I, you know, because he was an executive and he would get like $120,000, $130,000 bonuses, which at the time would get you a nice house. And he just like buy a house, throw a renter in there, hire the property manager. Dude's like 67 now. You know, he did this 30 years ago. And he's like, you know, uh, one day I was at work and some stuff went down and I just quit. He said, I had 30 houses. I was in the position to quit my corporate job. My, I think he was making like 300 and some thousand dollars a year. Uh, he was in a position to quit his job because he had used his money wisely. But most of you don't have a high income. And most of you are going to have to play the leverage game, which can be beneficial if you know how to play the game. But most of you are not going to get rich in real estate no time soon. No time soon. It's going to take you minimum five to seven years. And this is why so many people gravitate toward real estate, because it's supposed to be passive. Ask all these landlords who didn't get paid during COVID how passive was real estate. Who still had to pay insurance, who still had to pay property taxes. Ask those landlords how passive was real estate during COVID. Ask them, talk to them. Because I know someone and she actually was a real estate investor and she what she did is she worked with her tenants. Uh, her portfolio was worth her portfolio went from 500,000 to 1.2 million during COVID. And what she did is she just started discounting rent and she worked with people and she got them to pay because she has mortgages. So, you know, for a few months, she made no money. And then, you know, she went back, she said, look, I helped you out, you're good. We need to go back to regular rent. And they went back to regular rent. Now she's getting paid again. So smart people know how to adjust up, but your mindset is everything. Like one of the reasons I got rid of disruptive mail, I got tired of the wet, moist men who were jealous of my exploits. They were jealous and they would come in the comments and say all this other stuff because I did not look like the type of YouTuber with that type of game even though I was posting receipts all day long. And I got rid of the disruptive mail because I made a critical error. I showed you the results of the mindset, but I didn't show you the mindset. 
because essentially there's a lot of tricks and tips and tools that I use to get that stuff, things I figured out and I was trying to tell you guys, but a lot of you were just like, I need my trim today. I don't have no time to work on myself. I ain't trying to go to the gym. I'm trying to be a fat slob bag in a tent. Lazy, 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 lazy. And uh, what we're going to do in the corporate papers and like uh, there's a lot of you who are asking a bunch of questions because y'all know tonight's the deadline and you, you can now use PayPal if you desire. <clears throat> I need to send that email out. You can use PayPal if you want to use it. Um, one of the things that people have to understand is building businesses is challenging, is difficult, but if you have the mindset, like before I got in the car rental business, I said, I'm gonna give this a year. And if I had like went into it, like we, we would see how it go. And as soon as I start having problems, I bail. Like I'm telling you, uh, August is probably gonna be a 30 some thousand dollar month. Because, you know, when something breaks, I just go ahead and get it, fix it. I embrace the suck. Yesterday, I replaced the two cars I lost with much better cars. I'm not buying any more cheap cars. I paid 11.5 for one and I paid almost 18,000 for the other. And I gotta go look at another car that's gonna cost me about 14.5. And there's another one I'm looking at that's gonna cost me 12. I'm not buying cheap cars. I'm not buying, uh, you know. I have a young lady who's renting that poor Cyan for 130 bucks a day. And she just extended. On hire car, I can't list the Porsche on Turo because it has a recall issue. I need to work on that today. Um, now I got an appointment with Porsche Friday to drop it off. So once she brings it back, I'm just probably going to chill because one of the things I've noticed is that once these people get access to these kind of cars, they don't want to let go. I got someone waiting for a car that's in the shop, getting the oil, a fuel pump and some other stuff, simple little stuff. And you know, that Porsche, it's got to go in there for a recall work. Cause I can't list it on Turo till it gets that recall work done. Once I get the recall work done, then I will put it, you know, I'm going to probably just snooze it because I've had no less than 35 people ask me about that Porsche. And I'm like, why are you asking me? Just reserve it. Because essentially I'm just sitting there laughing. And like one person is like, hey, could you make it $70 a day? I rent it for a month for $70 a day. I bet you would. I bet you wouldn't mess up my car. I bet you would. What I have learned. And this is mindset. Because when I went in this, I said, I'm going to do this for a year, come hell or high water. I'm going to do it for a year. I'm not going to bail. And now that we're tomorrow, this week, I'm going to have 16, I'm going to have 14 cars with G, probably 15 cars with GPS kill switch, which means I'll have five left. And I got some cars out there that I got to come in and wants to come in GPS kill switch. GPS kill switch, but your mindset, like I just wanted to do this video to let you guys know that if you think you can't do it, you're absolutely right. If you think you can do it, you're absolutely right. It's your mindset. Your mindset is everything. And a lot of you just got little bitch ass mindsets, little punk bitch ass mindsets. Like, Ooh, it's hard. I want to be over here in real estate. Why do I have to do no work? I want to do real estate because it's passive. Yeah, you don't have enough money to get significant holdings in real estate to make some real damn money with your broke ass, with your whiny ass, with your little bitch ass. You, 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 you're never going to be a significant corporate citizen because you have the wrong mindset. Essentially, oh, it's too hard. Life is hard. Life is is very hard and you should embrace that and instead of looking to make life easy you should make yourself tougher you should make yourself bigger bolder deafer versus looking for comfort and looking for it to be easy 
And I got a lot of you who hit me up for the payment plan. Like I said, uh, I'm not doing 150. That's gone. Everyone who's on the 150 plan uh, for B school, if you miss a payment and you get kicked out, oh well, I ain't gonna worry about it because I've noticed something because it, it was going really, really well for a minute and then it just dropped off and people just stopped paying. Kind of like people renting these cars. And essentially, I'm gonna be very protective of my brand because I'm giving you stuff that no one else is giving you. I am giving you the blueprint on how to build a real business for real. Just like I helped this young lady, this married mother of three who created this multi-million dollar cleaning company. Her mindset, you know, she is a little soft voice. Um, I've, I've seen pictures of her. I think she's like kind of short, like five foot nothing. And uh, she paid me 1500 bucks a month for a year. And you want to know how? Cause she only had X amount of money saved about six months into her business. Her business started making enough money to pay me. She didn't pay me. Her business paid me. And many of you want me to talk on the phone to you for cheap. Um, consults, I gotta do that. Consults are going to be 2,500 unless you're a student. That's the only way you're going to get a cheap consult. You don't want to pay 2,500. I understand. It's your money. You do what you want with your money. I understand. But I ain't getting on the phone with you to talk to you cheap. Because see, until you, and this is what I found out when I gave all those free courses. I put up some older videos and people were asking me about the free courses. And I was like, ha, ah, they ain't coming back. I actually gave free courses away for six months to help you guys out. And 95% of the people who signed up for the free courses didn't open up one free course. Taught me a massive lesson. Also, uh, last year I offered free consults. That was a cluster fuck. And I'm like, okay, if you want to talk to me, it's going to cost you. You're going to get a ma magnificent discount as a student and as a um, student, you're going to get a mass, you're going to get a discount. And if you just walk through the door. I mean, I'm going to set it up because essentially you guys have to make a commitment to yourself. You must commit to being successful. You must commit to being successful. Grant Cardone charges $30,000 for an hour of his time. $30,000. And people pay him that. You know when you're paying someone $30,000, you're gonna be taking notes. You may record it. You mind if I record this? Grant, I don't wanna miss anything. You're gonna pay attention because you spend a lot of money. I've learned this and this is why I'm raising prices. This is why consults went up. This is why like, you know, um, I got a lot of people who like no less 50 people. It's like, man, I, I ain't ready now. I'll be ready in a month. I'll be ready in a month. And I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking about it because essentially as a corporate citizen, I control my domain. I don't have no boss. I don't have nobody with their hand in my back, make it move me around like a puppet. I get to make my own rules. This is this is my kingdom. I get to do what I want to do. So I want you guys to understand that you can do this. It ain't going to be easy, but you can do it if you commit with the right mindset and stop seeking all of these escape lazy, do nothing games. If you stop trying to avoid hard work, because this is what I see, like a um, bitch ass real estate investor. I do real estate. I could just tell by his little whiny ass, he was just trying to avoid work. Right now, if you have a car and you're willing to drive 12 hours a day, you can make eight to $12,000 a month driving for Uber. I got people like, no, 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 they, they, no, no. I met a woman driving a Mercedes and she says, I'm gonna make six figures this year. She says, I, I never knew, but she came into it with the right mindset. I'm gonna drive 12 hours. I'm gonna drive Saturday. I'm gonna drive Sunday. Those are my power days. I'm gonna take Monday and Tuesday off. I've heard Uber driver after Uber driver say, I make three, 400 bucks a day, three, 400 bucks a day. Uber driver, door trash people. I got a guy renting a BMW, does DoorDash. 
5,000 a month. So if you're willing to work, there's money out here to be made. But if you're going to let your do nothing lazy side just take over and you're going to keep seeking all of these things where you can, I'm working smart, bitch, you ain't working. That's the problem. You ain't working right now. Uber, DoorDash, Amazon Flex, Task Rabbit, Roadies. There's all of these things. If you go ahead and approach them with a robust mindset, you can make a lot of money. But you got to work. You got to work. And the way that I'm doing the corporate papers, you're going to have to, it ain't going to be easy. You got to work. You must work. There will be assignments. There will be homework. You got to work. And this is why I'm charging so much to get the right people who will commit to themselves. I don't want a whole bunch of folks who just want to get in and get a little free game, get a little game and then mounts. I, I'm not looking for those. I want people who are going to make a commitment to themselves, a commitment to their success. Cause this woman, I worked with this woman a year and you know, yeah, she paid me 18 K but now she has a million dollar business. That's going to pay her year after year after year after year. Cause a lot of you, you know, well, Glenda, uh, I see why you a millionaire. You charge a grip for your courses. Let me see. So let's, let's go ahead and have this conversation. Say you paid me $50,000, right? $50,000 for a year. Okay. And at the end of this year, you had a business that generated you 150. So at the end of the year, you have got a hundred thousand dollar return. And then the next year you're not talking to me. Then your business does 200. Then the next year you're not, you, you see how this goes. So you could, you, you're paying me a lot. Yes, you are true. I charge a lot. No doubt about it. There ain't no shame in my game because I'm worth it. But see, once you get this knowledge, once you get this business, this woman paid me $18,000 and her business, I think, has grossed, we're in year three, two or three million bucks. So how many of you would spend $18,000 to make two million? All day long, all day long, all day long. See, a lot of you want me to bring it down to where you are and see, I'm trying to bring you up to where I'm at. I'm not coming down. I'm not lowering my prices. If you don't want to pay that, it's your money. It's cool, fine, cool. There's other people, the helpful people out in the space that can help you, go to them. I don't care. Because essentially, what I have learned is my best customers pay. Like this girl who's renting this Porsche, when it comes back, it's gonna look like it just did. It's gonna look exactly the way it looked when I rented it to her. You know why? Because I'm charging her a grip. She ain't getting this for the low, low. She ain't getting it for 70 bucks. She getting it for 130. So yeah, this is how it goes, man. This is how it goes. This is the thing we're going to do. So I want you guys to understand that your mindset is everything. It's the beginning and this end. It's the alpha, it's the omega. It is the beginning and the end. And if you have a weak bitch ass mindset, you're just gonna be a weak ass bitch in life. This little woman, she, three, mother and three children with a husband who was fighting with her. And she, she's like, Glendon, I told him, it's like, I'm gonna be somebody. I love being your wife, but I wanna be my own woman as well. And she stood up to her husband and she actually, he, he converted. And I actually talked to him and he's like, man, I hated you. Cause I was like, why is my wife talking to him? And she always smiling and happy and giggling. I said, man, this is business. Your wife is after me cause I can help her make money. That's what it's about. You know, and he, 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 when he saw she was making that money, he saw that transformation. He, he like, I got a winner. I got me a damn winner. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I got me a winner. How many men out here would be mad if your wife was bringing home 500K? How many men would be mad? Not one of you. You'd be like, let me rub your shoulders, baby. You want me to run some bath water for you? I would love to meet a woman that make the kind of money I make. Man, I've had that in my life. It's nice to have a woman that can like, hey, let's go to Paris. Let's do this. Let's, I plan this trip. I got you. That's nice. I would not be intimidated at all if I met a woman that was like making 10 million a year. I'd be, what can I do to help you make more? So, you know, once he got out his feelings and he started to support his wife, now he's working because I, you know, he's going to run the commercial side and she like essentially the, the residential side runs itself. She got a manager. I mean, she told me, she said, I might work four hours a week. She said, I can never go back to work in the way that I used to work. She said, I can never do that again. I said, luxuries once tasted become necessities. And once they get the commercial side going, and the thing is they have a business that produces cash, they have capital. Um, I didn't help her with this, but she went ahead and got business credit for her company. Um, so they can start this up. They can go out and buy a van. Boom. They don't have to go to the bank and get a loan because they got cash flow and get this commercial thing. And they get this commercial in a residential. Two, three million a year, man. All day long. But she was willing to put in the work. She had the right mindset. She did not question me. And look, I'm going to say something to y'all. If you're not making 40 fucking thousand dollars a day, like I have, shut the fuck up. Because I mean, congratulations, you're making 40,000 a month. Congratulations, that is more than 90% of America makes. You, you're doing some stuff right. But you ain't on my level. Yeah, I'm being conceited as fuck right now. You ain't on my level. You ain't on Erica's level. You ain't running shit. You just, a, you're better than average, I will give you that, but you ain't on my level. And this, all this little checking and trying to advise me, I, I'm just, I just start laughing because if you knew your true potential, cause see, when you, cause a lot of you men, and it's never the women, it's always the men, are egotistical and narcissist. Because you feel that because you think that you're on my level, you don't have not one receipt, not one result, not any evidence of success, but you think we're on the same level and you could just talk to me like we boys. I'm like, you're making the kind of money I used to make in the storage auction business 12, 14 years ago. That's the kind of money you make in a day. Congratulations, enjoy yourself. But I guarantee you, and I'm gonna say this with all, with 100% confidence, I'm gonna make more money in my sleep than you will make working like a Hebrew slave. Cause that's how I built my business. Cause I know how to do that. So yeah, you know, we can have these little conversations cause you know, I've seen some stuff cause you forget, I've been an entrepreneur for 22 years. I've been running numbers, I've been making money, I've been uh, branding companies, running sales campaigns, running marketing campaigns, doing all this. I've been doing this for 22 years. You're a rookie. Know your place, boy. Know your place. You don't get to sit at the table with the big boys or the adults. You're at the little kitty table with the pumpkin pie. <laughs> at the kitty table with the pumpkin pie. You cannot sit at my table. You ain't making seven figures a year. You can't sit at my table. You can't. And that, that, that's the thing, because once again, you have a corrupt mindset because when someone is showing you receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt, after receipt re proof, and you still want to question it, that's a sign of your deranged and fucked up mind. That's just who you are as a person. So once again, um, 
You can get into the corporate papers. You can use the discount code and we're gonna be cooking with gas. And for those of you who did not get added, my assistant's gonna be working on that next week and everyone's gonna be added and we're gonna have a master email list because I don't think everyone is getting the emails from Thinkific. I don't know, but we will work that out. So the link's below, go ahead, get in it, and I will see you guys next week.